Blueberries can be a bit tricky to grow. They have some specific soil demands that must be met for them to be productive. However, a well-established plant can produce eight pounds of blueberries. Hi, I'm Amy from Fox Run, and today we are going to talk about growing blueberries in Zone 6. Blueberries are perennial bushes. You can tuck in a few in the garden or have a large planting. Live in an urban area? Blueberries make a lovely edible landscaping plant and have pretty red and purple foliage in the fall. You can use them in foundation plantings or as a specimen plant. They also grow well in pots if you have a patio garden. There are different types of blueberries, including high bush and low bush. Both have varying climate needs. In zone six, we can grow both. Personally, I have had more luck with high bush varieties like Patriot and Elliot. Here is one of my Patriots on the farm in Kentucky. This one is just three years old and producing berries. And as you can see, mowing was never my thing. Doing a soil test before planting is super important. Acidic soil with a pH between four and five is essential. That's more acidic than our average garden soil of 6.5. Typically, our soil in zone six is slightly acidic, but not as low as the plant desires. You can get a good home kit or send a sample to a lab. I have an article on soil testing I will put in the description. Some ways to naturally lower your soil include adding cottonseed meal, peat, coffee grounds, and or gypsum. These are all slow acting, which will help lower the pH over time. If you need a quick, but not immediate, fix, you can purchase elemental sulfur. Just make sure you are getting organic products. I'll put a couple of links in the description of my top picks. Also, whenever planting blueberries, mix in lots of well-rotted compost. Blueberries need loose, well-draining soil. Soil in zone six is often heavy clay or has limestone. You definitely want to plan where you will put your blueberries. Fall is actually a great time to dig holes and add amendments. Take off the sod, dig out your soil, and throw it in a wheelbarrow. Add in two gallons of compost, plus whatever amendments you are using. Mix it up in the wheelbarrow, and then add it back in the hole. You can plant blueberries in the fall, or just let the soil sit until spring when you're ready to plant. Always follow the bag's instructions, especially if you are adding sulfur. You don't want to add more than the recommended amount. High bush plants often need some sort of trellising. If you are planting several plants in a row, using a T-designed trellis with wire run between the posts works really well. This will help keep the branches from drooping when the mature plant is weighted down with fruit. For a larger planting, drip irrigation also works well. Blueberries need about an inch of water every week. Raised beds work great for blueberries. You can mix up light soil and amend it just for their needs. Raised beds are also great because they drain well. There are several dwarf blueberry varieties that do well in containers. Top Hat and Dwarf North Sky are two that do well for city gardeners. Depending on the variety, blueberries are ready to harvest between June to August. Most plants keep ripening over three to four weeks, so you will need to harvest two or three times each week. Wait for the blueberries to be a deep blue and ready to fall off the plant. My son loved to go out in the morning and pick a handful of blueberries for a cereal on summer mornings. Root blueberries should be pruned in late winter. Cut out dead branches and ones that cross closely in front of the others. The key is to have the plant opened up so it has lots of good air circulation and room for the berries to grow. Blueberries are, of course, so good in many recipes. You can eat them fresh or you can use them in baked goods. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment and tell me what you are planning for your garden.